what I invite you to do in this short reflection is to ask the question, who takes care of the bubbles? So the COVID lockdown uh, reflects how we organize our society habitually. And it, it has organized our political economy along the lines of inside and outside, of protection, of exposure, security and vulnerability, wealth and poverty. And the COVID has revealed how deeply racialized and gendered these fault lines are. So as the COVID-19 sweeps across the, the globe, um, it is mostly women often racialized, many racialized, who are on the front lines of the pandemic response. So the politics of COVID, therefore, can be understood as spaces of protection or spaces of exposure. The pandemic has generated lots of protective bubbles. So we're saying, you know, we're in our protective bubbles. We sometimes get bored in our protective bubbles and we want to stay home to keep ourselves safe. Um, in a way, we can imagine it. We'll think about it like it's an amniotic sac. We are trying to keep ourselves safe from sickness and sealed from unwanted contact. But the pandemic therefore reveals the presence of essential workers keeping those protective bubbles afloat and intact. Because, of course, the bubbles cannot exist in and of themselves. They need the workers to, to manage the bubbles. So there are those who are fortunate enough to live inside their homes. And there are those who keep society running, taking care of the bubbles um, from the outside. So they pick up our rubbish, they deliver the Uber Eats, they are sanitizing public spaces, they're sanitizing transportation, they're taking care of the sick, they're taking care of the elderly, they're burying the dead. So the COVID reveals how there are those wealthy, fortunate enough to be inside their homes, inside their bubbles, and there are those who are the outside. So one way to think about the political economy, therefore, is to ask, well, who is living in a protective bubble during the lockdown? And how is that bubble, this sealed environment, being enabled by other human beings who are exposed? And could our protective bubbles exist without an exposed workforce? So the inside and outside dynamics of the COVID are nothing new in the global political economy or the political economy of Britain or our societies. And on a local level, we can think about it, for example, um, as gated communities, where the rich and the privileged lived inside these spaces, served by others who are on the outside, who come inside to clean, to take care of the children, to cook and so on. Or on a larger scale, we can think about how regions of the world become these bubbles, these protective bubbles. So Fortress Europe taking their resources from elsewhere, but not wanting to let the people inside. So from our very micro reality of living through the pandemic and in our homes and in our bubbles, we can see broader pro processes of inside and outside of the global political economy that have always been there and always are, but not always as evident and as revealed as starkly as they are now. So the question then is, well, who's taking care of the bubble and are you in a bubble? And how is that being enabled?